Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I started like at like twelve. I started um, as a um, as a dancer, um, and I was dancing, and I got in like Houdini video, and I used to open up for like Run DMC and Houdini and all of these different um, rap artists of the eighties. Um, so like in eighty three, eighty four, eighty five. And, well, 80, probably my 84, 85, and 86. 84, 85, 86, I was kind of like 12 years old opening for a lot of these different dancers and, and uh, I mean, a, a lot of rap artists. And um, that just introduced me to a bunch of, um, like, basically the industry and the whole hip-hop scene as a whole it introduced me to um, that. And then my love for just... Um, the culture period, I just fell in love with the culture at that particular point in time. Um, I discovered Criss Cross in probably 90. It came out in 92. Yeah, probably in 90 I discovered Criss Cross. What, what did you see? Um, or it might have been 91. 91, something right there. I mean, what I what I saw in Criss Cross was that I, saw, I just saw two kids that um that just stole the attention from a mall um and i thought you know this is pretty um difficult uh, to just be regular a norm two normal kids can just take the attention from what's actually going on it's almost like right now if i took you two guys outside and everybody on the street just changed what they was doing and started paying attention to you and I was the only person there to witness that this is what was happening. And I'm, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Why are people paying attention to these guys? I actually thought they was like some Nickelodeon group or something that I had never heard of, really. Because I, I, it just seemed, they seemed famous from straight from the jump. No pun intended. <laughs> after after Criss Cross was a group called Escape, um, after Escape was um, The Brat, and then after The Brat was um, Jagged Edge, I think. Um, <laughs> after Jagged Edge was, oh man, I'm forgetting. But uh, yeah, Bow Wow came, Bow Wow was like latter. Uh, Bow Wow might have came after Jagged Edge in the, in the Columbia system, but Bow Wow, yeah, Bow Wow, then, yeah, um, Bone Crusher, Young Bloods, Anthony Hamilton, um, Jaquan, uh, I don't, I mean, you know, it just goes on and on. Uh, it's not, never too many, never too many, but, um, yeah, I mean, you know, um, uh, and then Bow Wow was just, Bow Wow was just a different dynamic, you know what I mean? He was just a different, as far as the teen stars, though, um, it's funny because people always um, try to put me and say Jermaine's always working with teens, and it's not. I only work with two, which was Chris Cross and Bow Wow. They just happened to be the biggest two teen stars to ever, teen rappers to ever come out. I don't know that it was unbelievable because they was young, and it was just like, uh, you know, um, you got to think, like, every young artist wants to work with Jermaine Dupree, so it was kind of like an opposite thing at this particular point in time. It was like, bring the, all the young kids to see JD. Um, it was, um, I don't, I, I remember the song. I very, very vaguely remember, like, the session. Um, well, no, I actually did, we, um, what's the song I did? I did, um, damn, how do I forget my own songs? Um, anyway, I did the song, um, I met Mariah at, like, the same time as Criss Cross. Well, not, met, I met Mariah during the success of Criss Cross, and I worked on her album in 93, I think it was Music Box, Always Be My Baby. Yeah, that's the song. So I did always be my baby. That was like one of the first. That was like the one of the biggest records on that album. Um, I think that album sold like twenty million. So that was the beginning of our success, of of us connecting and make and you know having a success. And that was like the first time we ever worked together. So it was like first time we ever worked. Together, we had a big you know a big number one record and you know huge success. Um, and then we just had a great relationship from that point on all the way out.